All right, guys, let's break down these two commonly tested diseases on NCLEX mental health. So we have anorexia nervosa versus bulimia nervosa. In anorexia nervosa, A for anorexia, we have altered perception of our own body weight as well as an abnormal fear of gaining weight. So this is somebody who is very skinny and they still think that they are overweight and they will hold themselves from eating to maintain that below average body weight. For bulimia nervosa, we're going to remember with two Bs, B for bulimia, they binge eat. So they eat a lot in one sitting and then they try to blow it off either by extreme exercise or through purging or throwing up. Now, key thing to remember here is that in bulimia nervosa, you're going to have a normal BMI, or in anorexia, you're going to have a below normal. Now let's dive into our signs and symptoms for each. So they both have electrolyte imbalances. However, I have seen specific questions that talk about hypokalemia associated with anorexia. So keep that in mind. They have a below average body weight, so they're gonna be hypokalemic, okay? In terms of cardiac, we have our little heart. They're both gonna have bradycardia and low blood pressure, which is hypotension. Also with anorexia nervosa, they're gonna have cold extremities. They have no fat on them. They are skin and bone, so cold extremities. And let's finish off our signs and symptoms for anorexia. For GU, they're gonna have amenorrhea, which is no menstruation. And for GI, they're gonna be constipated, okay? Remember, they're not taking in anything, no fiber, no water. Now, finishing off bulimia. For GI, we're gonna have esophageal tears. This emesis or purging is very forceful and it can tear the esophagus. And for skin, we're gonna have calluses and scars, specifically on the knuckles from purging, forcing themselves to vomit. Now let's tackle our nursing interventions. In the middle here, we have interventions that is geared towards both anorexia and bulimia. We're gonna monitor three things, electrolytes, we're gonna check an EKG to make sure our potassium is not affecting cardiac rhythm. Check vitals for that bradycardia hypotension, and we're gonna monitor fluid and food intake. We're going to explore feelings of self, encourage support systems like family, and stay with the patient during meals. Make sure that they're eating. Now up here, we have specific interventions for bulimia, okay? So we're gonna monitor exercise. We're not gonna stop exercise, but we're gonna make sure that they're not doing this extreme exercise to burn calories. And we're also gonna monitor them for 30 to 60 minutes after meals to make sure they're not purging. And over here for anorexia nervosa, as a nurse, you're gonna make sure they do little to no exercise. They don't have enough to burn.